Did you know it may be possible to get faster download speeds with your cable provider and save money every month? Check it out. So a few months back, the folks over at Time Warner Cable upgraded a lot of its customers to a higher broadband tier. Now previously, I was on a 30 megabits per second down and five megabits per second up. I just wanna show you I am connected to ethernet by the way, but 30 down, five up was my previous tier. But now Time Warner has upgraded all of the customers on that tier to 200 megabits per second down and 20 up. A ridiculous upgrade and it's for free. They're not charging extra uh, for this for this level of service. Now, the only downside is that the modem that I currently have, the SB6141, maxes out at around 100 megabits per second, give or take a few megabits. But as you can see, it's around 100 or so, 115 right there in this example. But in general, I get about 100 megabits down and about 10 megabits up, which is still really good, right? It's much better than 30 down and five up for sure. But if they're gonna offer you 200 megabits down and 20 megabits up, why not take that? But the SB6141, my current cable modem, is not capable of fully accommodating the amount of bandwidth available to me because it only has eight downstream channels. With Time Warner, you need more downstream channels to fully take advantage of the bandwidth offered. So this modem right here isn't going to give me the maximum throughput that I'm looking for. Even though it is DOCSIS 3.0, don't be mistaken to think that just because you have a DOCSIS 3.0 modem that you're good because the channel bonding differs between each modem. For instance, the SB6190 has 32 downstream channels and eight upstream channels for 1.4 gigabits per second, theoretical throughput. Obviously, you're not gonna get anywhere close to that. In fact, Time Warner CMTS is limited right now to 16 downstream channels, but the fact is you have room to grow. That is nice, and of course, you have room to accommodate all the bandwidth that Time Warner currently offers. So we'll just quickly unbox this here. Here is the SB6190. Looks very similar to what we already had, the SB6141 and the SB6183, which is another modem that you may consider. It has 16 uh, downstream channels, which can still accommodate all 200 megabits in this instance, but you can see that the modems look really similar. But if you're looking for speeds, the one on the left is the one you want. So the next thing is just to connect the modem and then call the cable company and ask them to provision your new modem. You'll need to give them the HFC Mac ID, which is on the back of the modem and also on the box. I have done that. And now I'm going to run another speed test and we're gonna see if it makes any difference at all. And we're off. So let's see. Quickly approaching 100 megabits down. And we have surpassed 100 megabits down and we are headed towards 150. Headed towards 200. And it just keeps going. Now we're about, we're about 154 overall. Not bad for the first test here and the upload speed, that's really what I, what I value as someone who uploads videos to YouTube. 20 megabits upload, that is awesome. Coming from five megabits, going up to 20, gonna be able to get those YouTube videos onto YouTube so much quicker now. Okay, so now we're gonna run one more test here. We're gonna run it using the HTML5 uh, speedtest.net tester. This is a beta product, but much nicer looking, doesn't require flash. And while we're watching this test go, another upside to buying your own modem is that you no longer have to pay the rental or lease fee. Uh, so you can actually save money along with boosting your speeds, folks. So remember, Time Warner provided this to its users with no increase in monthly uh, costs. So this is an awesome upgrade. If you have an old cable modem, you may wanna check it out. Make sure you're getting all the speeds that you can. Folks, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.